Welcome back. This time of year, the pitter patter of little feet in your house may not be your children. It could be unwanted company in your attic in the form of squirrels, raccoons, or some other critter. 11 Alive's Jay Watson actually heard some incredible stories today from people plagued by unwanted company and people who work to get rid of that company. Jay, I hate hearing about these things. I know it makes me worry about my own attic, Karen. This was a really good story. I feel like an expert now. It could be rats or raccoons, but companies say they're being inundated with calls of squirrels infestation. Tonight, one man's serious and funny story and advice on how to get rid of the squirrels before they seriously damage your house. You hear scratching. That sound signified the beginning of squirrel hell for Dan Pizzotti. Well, I used to think squirrels were cute little animals and, uh, until they inhabited my uh, attic. Thing we have to remember is these animals are fighting for a living space that we're paying for. Meet the verminators, their business humanely evicting varmints. This is an area where the decking and the fascia both meet the home and it leaves a gap there allowing the animals a way in. When you have dirty gutters, you're attracting things such as nuts, water, bugs. And the damage can be devastating. We've had everything from your security system wiring chew to floodlights to the roof, actual decking chewed out of place to allow water damage. The solution, sealing holes and driving out or trapping the animals. Dan Pizzotti made the unfortunate decision to remove a trapped squirrel himself. The cage isn't locked correctly and it got out when my dad tried to pick it up and he was chasing it all over the attic and it, he fell right through the boards and like really got hurt. And put a big hole in the ceiling, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> And was mommy mad? She was about to kill you. <laughs> Injured, Pizzotti's pride and backside. This area here is almost a mountain range of insulation where they have made their trails. This would be a clear indication that the squirrels are nesting in the soffit area. So. And the verminators give a glimpse of a catch earlier today <laughs> before they drive away. Hasta la vista, vermin. We have other catchphrases such as don't hate, verminate. And when we get done, they won't be back. Okay, there are a lot of really good cliches, but you won't forget the company, will you? Pizzotti has been banned from the attic by his wife, and he got the good news today that they are squirrel-free. And if you're infested, unless you're an expert, you should probably call in, and Pizzotti said that's exactly what he learned the hard way after having to fix his ceiling. Live in Midtown, Jay Watson, 11 Alive News. We've all faced that problem at one time or another, one house or another. Don't have them now. Glad about that. Oh, yeah. Great story, Jay. Thanks. <laughs>